Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been several years but I'm finally back with a new tutorial and today we'll be making chai from the Animal Crossing Sanrio collab and a couple of her accessories. So the cinnamon roll signage and the cinnamon roll stool. And this is going to be a long video so let's get started. First I'm going to start with some light blue clay, cut it into two pieces roll one into a ball for the head, and shape the other one into a cone-like shape for the body. Then I'll pull out two legs from the bottom, thin out the top and then cut off the excess. And it should look like this. Then I'm going to make a hole with a needle tool to put in a piece of wire to attach the head and the body. And then use a needle tool to secure them together. And then it should look like this. Then I'm going to take a small log of clay for the arms, like this. Cut them off and place them on the body. And then use a needle tool to secure. Next for the ears, I'll take another piece of clay and flatten it out into an oval disc like this. Cut it in half and reshape both halves into teardrop shapes. Then cut them like this at an angle and attach them onto the head. Once again securing with a needle tool and smoothing with my finger. Next for the trunk I'll take a small piece of clay, roll it, bend it, and then cut off the excess and attach it to the face. And it looks like this. A sort of similar process for the tail. But I'll put in a piece of wire to attach the tip. Using a darker blue, we'll make a small teardrop shape and attach it to the tail with TLS. Now for the collar we'll use white clay, flatten it out, and cut a rectangle, and then a v-shape. Then I'll just soften the corners like this, and this is what it looks like. Now for the teacup we'll use light pink clay. Make a small disc for the saucer and for the cup roll out a log like this, cut off the extra and shape into a cylinder. Pinch and roll at one end to close it and cut off the extra clay. Then I'll place the cup on the saucer and roll out a thin snake for the handle. carefully attaching it to the cup with a needle tool. And then using TLS I'm attaching it to the head. It's unnecessary to do that at this stage because it's much easier to paint it without the teacup attached, so you can just attach it once you're done painting and I'll show you how at the end. Then we're going to insert some wires to attach it to the base. put it aside while we make the other things. So for the cinema roll signage I'm going to take some brown clay, roll it out flat and then trim it down into a rectangle. Then I'm going to cut that in half. And each of these pieces is going to be one side of the signage. 
Now I'm just cutting thin strips to make the planks, like this. And do the same for the other side. Then taking some dusty teal clay for the chalkboard part of the sign, cut one corner off and then place it up against the plank so you can measure it and cut off the excess. And then fit the remaining planks around it. Then using a needle tool you can make some lines on the planks to give it a woody texture. And now I'm adding two holes at the top to attach the wire that will hold the pieces together. And do the same for the other side. And then they look like this. Now for the cinema roll stool we're going to take some white clay and shape it like this to make it into a cup shape. And then cut off the top and the bottom so that they're flat. Roll out a thin snake of clay for the handle, and trim off the excess, and then attach it to the base and use needle tool to secure it on. And it'll look like this. And now for the top, we're just going to take some brown clay, flatten it out, and then either using a cookie cutter or a knife, cut out a circle like this, and just attach it to the top and press it down. And it looks like this. Now take a small piece of white clay and roll it into a snake, and then coil it up on itself to make a cinnamon roll tail. And attach it to the back of the cup. At this point you can partially bake everything for 10 to 15 minutes, just to make it easier to do the details. Now we're going to make the tea for Chai's teacup. So taking some light brown clay, we'll roll it into a ball and then cut it in half. Put that piece in the teacup and then smooth it down. And we're also going to make the stand for Chai now. So using some waste clay, we're going to roll it out into quite a thick slab and then cut a disc into it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Using green clay, we'll roll it out nice and thin, and then cut a pair of discs out. One the same size as the waste clay, and one a bit bigger. So the smaller one will go on the bottom. Just press it on and smooth it out, and place the bigger one on top, and use your finger to smooth down the edges. And it will look like this. And then you can press the figurine into the clay until it stands. Now we're going to take the signage and make the cinema roll that goes on top. So using white clay we're going to take a small piece and shape it into a soft triangle for the head. And then roll out a log and cut off two small pieces for the ears. And pinch and roll to shape them into teardrop shapes. And then we'll take another small piece of clay for the body and pull out two points for the legs. Like this. Then we're going to press this part on the head and smooth them together. Now we'll make the arms from two cylinders of clay. And I lost some of the footage here, but you basically attach them under the head so that they're reaching forwards. And then attach the ears and secure with a needle tool. And then take a tiny piece of clay for the tail, roll it into a log, and then coil it up, cut off the excess, and place it on the back. And then it looks like this. Now I'll take two pieces of wire and use them to connect the signage. So place them in the holes you made, and then bend it over like this. And then use TLS to attach the cinema roll onto the signage. And this is what it looks like. Now you're ready to bake everything for the full time according to the packing instructions. And this is what everything looks like once it's baked. 
and I'll just take the chai off the stand to make it easier to paint. Before I start painting, I'll use a pencil to sketch out the details. So just doing the basic outline for the eyes, the hair, and the t-shirt. It's a bit hard to see because of the brightness. Now I'm just removing the teacup from Chai's head. If you didn't attach it, you don't have to worry about this. But if you're small, please get an adult's help for this because it is a little bit dangerous. And now I'm just thinning out my paints with some water in the palettes. I keep my paints thin and do multiple layers to avoid streaking. So I just set out some basic colors and then mix all the other colors I might need. Starting off with some white paint for the hair. Don't worry if it's not opaque because we will do multiple layers. And now just painting on the whites for the eyes. And now taking some light blue for the t-shirt. And this is what it looks like. And now just taking some white for the collar and also doing the second layer of hair. And now I'm just drawing on some details with the pencil. So the buttons on the shirt, the checkers and the outline of the eyes. And now painting the cinema roll on the belly. Adding some white details and a second layer wherever it's needed. Once again using a pencil for the eye details, and then a darker light blue for the eyes. And then I'll take some brown for the details on the face. And the little buttons on the shirt and then painting on the outline of the cinema roll. Now just taking some yellow paint, gonna paint the tip of the trunk and the hooves. Now taking a peachy pink color, I'm gonna paint on the cheeks and under the ears. Now for the cinema rolls details, I'm gonna paint on two blue dots for the eyes and two little peach dots for the cheeks and then paint on the mouth. And this is what she looks like. And now I'm taking a slightly darker blue and doing the inside of the eyes.
and then dotting on a few little white dots with the highlights. And then just painting on a few final details. And now we're going to paint the stand. So I'm just taking different shades of green, brown and yellow and mixing them up on my little palette. And then painting random triangles onto the stand. As you can see in some of the places where the paint is too thin it doesn't stick. So I just use needle tool to drag it to the edges. And then it looks like this. So now we're going to attach the teacup. And I'm just using super glue and a toothpick. Take a small amount of glue and place it on the head. And then place the teacup on the top of the head. And then press it down gently until it's fixed in place. Now we're going to finish the cinema roll signage. So I'm not entirely sure what it says on the signage. But I think the top words are cafe open. And I don't know what the rest of it says. I think it's just made up. So I'm using white paint for the top part. And then I'll use brown paint for the bottom part. Now to paint the cinema roll, I'm using light blue paint for the eyes and just dotting it on with a toothpick. And using brown paint, just painting on a little W for the mouth. And using a needle tool and that peachy pink color to do the cheeks. And this is what it looks like. And I'm just using brown to paint on the outlines for the signage. And this is what it looks like. And now we'll do the cinema roll stool. So first I'm painting on two light blue dots for the eyes and that same peach for the cheeks. And once again drawing on a brown W for the mouth. And this is what it looks like. So now we're almost done, we just need to glaze. And I'm using this golden polymer varnish with UVLS. So I just pour some in a bowl and then use a few drops of water to thin it out a little bit. And then using a soft brush paint it all over the pieces. So when you paint it on it looks glossy but once it dries it will be completely matte. And it's good to do several layers of this, I think I do about three. Just make sure they dry completely in between each layer. And now we're done. So this is what the chai looks like all finished. And the cinema roll signage. And the cinema roll stool. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be editing the tutorials with the other characters and accessories that you can see in this video. So Toby and Marty will be coming soon. Hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!